Hi you guys! Welcome into my kitchen! And hope you all really survived the 4th of July. Um, it's a couple days after and uh, almost back to normal here at the beach. People aren't coming out till the sun comes out, which is like 1 o'clock now. So I can uh, kind of drive with all the traffic. And um, But um, it's cool, you know, it's summer and people are going to come to the beach. Um, so I just, you know, stay in or go to the gym, work out, or I talk to you guys, right? Right. Um, actually, oh, I'm, I just wanted to chit chat. I'm just going to make myself a, a tuna fish sandwich and make some, um, make some, I'll make potato salad for myself. As you know, I made some the other day for Callie, but. I just make a little. I'm not gonna. You guys have done it before, so I'm just kind of doing this on the side and chit chatting to you about what's going on because I don't want to let too much time go on go by because things happen all the time. Uh, it's like I went to the grocery store. I'm back. I haven't even unloaded, but um, what's the time for my potato salad? I do my red potatoes and I have to boil these and cut these and. I'll put them on this side, though. So I'm multitasking while I talk to you guys. Um, I'm going to unload my groceries. So you probably think this is a grocery haul. But, oh. I had to get some tequila. I was all out. And I wanted my Casadores. and didn't have it. And I almost got the Don Julio Reposado. It was like 26 bucks. And so I'm going to try this. Jose Cuervo. Actually, this is 20. Uh, this is actually... um the reposado and I've never really had that oh I should do it I should do a drink I won't do a drink but um because I also has my Grand Marnier, Grand Marnier which I use um instead of my triple sec a lot of times sometimes you can use both but um yeah I'll try this I haven't had one of these for a long time I thought well why not in my decoration for my video, can you see that it's green? Remember that one? I did a video with it and I, and I couldn't turn it on and there was a little switch underneath and then I really don't know what this is. So that's just hanging there, but this is my decoration for today. This is for my peeler and my potatoes, but yeah, let's get that over there. Um, oh, I did break down, you guys. I got some Jack. I did. You know what? I have a drink. I did drink on 4th. I didn't, I haven't drank for, I bet, a, a week. So I'm just going to have a cocktail with you guys. Because you know what? It's still the 4th of July weekend. And, uh, also, I was at the grocery store. I saw my ex. I haven't seen him for four years with his, uh, girlfriend. And I don't, I'm sure he saw me. I mean, because he always looks at any woman. And he didn't say hi or nothing. I was like, what else? Probably mad because I did the video about him. Hey, you know what? you got to be nice to people in life. And people won't do videos about you. But anyway, I guess that was hot. After four years, I run into him now. Okay, you guys. I'm going to have that cocktail. Uh, this is a cool glass. I love this glass. Don't have, I don't think I have any ice. Let me see. Let me go down and check my eyes. Oh, there's a little bit. Now, a lot of people don't have ice. They just, oh, I just want the alcohol and a little bit of Coke. But I got to have a, kind of a real drink. Otherwise, you just, I get it. They just want the alcohol in it. But oh, get it. Make sure nothing's burning. Okay. I add my Coke first. And I put my put my jack on top. Uh, perfect. Let me just put that over there. I'm gonna have a straw. Oh, can't believe I have plastic straws. Uh, Gotta get rid of them. Have I opened this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Open and. And you know what, Ina, I was watching Ina today on Food Network, because it's a Food Network weekend, right, where they have a lot of shows all the time, and not a lot of those competition shows, like, I, I really can't do them, they're doing, having a Christmas in July bake-off, and with Duff Goldman, and I'm like, ugh, 
I can't do all those competitions, especially the wedding cake topper challenge or whatever. That one I do not like. But anyway, let's get this. Kind of the same size as my drink glass. And cheers. Cheers to you guys. Oh, it's like 4th of July. I should wear a red top. 4th of July all over again. I'm putting it this way. So, cheers. Mmm. Now my good, good, good. Let's see what else I have that I should probably be putting away. I got, oh, I had to get mayo uh, for my potato salad. And mayo, and I also got sweet relish. Now, I usually put in, I got the sweet, this is cool. This is home style. I'm so kind of excited to see what home style I believe would be more chunkier. But as you know, I usually put in celery seed, and I, and I, What's going to make my um, tuna fish with this, but I also remember um, uh, Trisha Yearwood puts in uh, the sweet relish in her potato salad. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. What else? What else? And I got ciabatta bread. This is rustic ciabatta bread. Okay, rustic. Um, you know, I've... I was just going to get whole wheat. I know that's uh, healthier and everything. But I see Subway now. You can have sandwiches out of ciabatta. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't know why there's... Sorry, there's a glare on my computer. But um, so I'm like, yeah, why not? Uh, sometimes I'll make like open top uh, tuna fish sandwiches. And then put them under the broiler. Broiler. It's not broiler. That's doesn't have that many syllables in it. So... Got that. Oh, got my water's boiling for my eggs, you guys. This is my side job I'm doing today. I'm going to put three in. I like to do my eggs first and have them cool down and everything because they're so much easier to cut, too, when I put them in the fridge. If you know what I mean, then I'll, I, my favorite, I guess, is bumblebee tuna because it's the solid white albacore and they, it was also on sale so I ended up getting three sometimes I get burned out from eating bumblebee but um, you know what I just need need to eat healthier even if that's with a cracker I, I love like salting crackers with that too but I, I did kind of want a sandwich today so what is this? This is my this is a, this is short for a CVS bill or the receipt, right? Check on that later. But I had to get some vi vitamins, so I got the calcium and biotin, and then it was uh, Nature Made buy one get one fifty percent off because the calcium are like eighteen dollars, and the biotin which I needed for my hair and my nails, especially my nails are so brittle I just cannot grow them. And like you guys want look at my thumb. Can you guys see that? See that hump? I have no idea. I think that's, it had to be, somebody must have just uh, uh, went so much on those, you know, when I had acrylics and then it made that bump. But that, now he's, that is one reason I can't get the acrylics back on and also they split so bad. Oh, ew, ew, it's so gross. Okay, so that's that bag done. Then my little angel's bag. Okay. Full of. I'll put this on there. I'm not going to heat anything up on that side. Okay. Turn that down. Water seems to be jumping, jumping, jumping out of the pot. Okay. So my insulated, my cold things. I'm, this is what I. Okay. Is it weird that. Okay. First I had to go to the post office and drop a Poshmark package off. And then um, I was so excited to see if they were going to have my lemon wee yogurt. That's Is that strange that I'm so excited to get to the grocery store to see if they have it? That's what my life has, has come to, you guys. It has come to that. And look, they had it, the lemon. So I bought them because they last till August. August, so August 20th. And I've been eating these for breakfast. So... Did I get three? No, I did not get three. I got six of them. I left one for somebody else. 
I'm sorry, but I just love these so much. And again, they were not on sale. They were $1.69 yet. So, actually, all these groceries I bought today, how much were they? $88.82. I can never go away with just 20, 25 bucks from bonds ever. Hmm. And I had to get Parmesan. And, you know, I always get the shredded, but preferably on the block, but I got the shave this time, you guys. Look. Shaved. And, I, and then I thought, I should get a block. I can just cut off chunks like that myself with a knife. Duh. Right? My milk. I'm having, you know, a glass or two. Actually, I'm having a couple glasses of milk. Every, well, one with every meal that I have here. And I am low on this. And, oh, what is this? Oh, Mookie's food. He didn't have it. Oops, I gave him some of the chicken I baked. I didn't see this because I, I had taken down Kelly's uh, potato salad and the bean dip and the guac dip in this. And I didn't know she put it in there. Oh, poor little guy. Well, he didn't, he didn't, go, he didn't go hungry, trust me. So, but... That's funny. I, I thought, oh, she forgot to give it to me. And I forgot to tell you, you forgot to give it to me. So, yeah. And it didn't happen. But this is rustic. This is like off the block. That uh, Lucerna or Lucerna, or I don't know how you say it. But um, they're copying off of them. Others, Tillamook and whoever. But this wasn't the $5 Friday deal. It was $7.99, which is still a deal, excuse me. And it was on sale. So, there you have it. That is my grocery little little haul. I can't get anything in the fridge yet, so we're just going to uh, we'll just put it back here for now. Oh, my parmesan! I forgot to get tomatoes. I want to do something with tomatoes, and I will show you. Not right, not today, but I will show you. Promise. Okay, tequila. Okay, so. Get the tuna fish going. I never, I usually got the big cans, but then I feel like I have to eat it all because I don't like tuna fish sitting in um, the fridge. So I don't even know if this is in water or oil. I should get the oil, but uh, one of these days too, I'm thinking I need to. You got a tuna nuda casserole. I think about that all the time. That one Valerie Bertinelli did. I, I'll have to look back on my video and see how I did it because this was so good. All right, I'm going to squeeze out the water. You probably should get a bowl for it. Bowls. Let's see where the, I had a, a pink bowl, but I don't know what I did with it. Why am I so unorganized, you guys? I'm sorry. Well, hello. Or up close and personal. Well, okay. I'll just do it in here then. This is such an old Tupperware, I, I will say. Very old. My potato salad will probably be... I like, potato, I like to make potato salad because... If I'm hungry, it's kind of a good snack. And, you know, I'll set the chips in that. Oh, shoot. I did want to show. I got I to gotta get behind the computer. But I will show you what I found, too. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, I'm only going to do one of them. Wipe this off. But I, I do want to show you something that is really, really good. I know I did it before in a different flavor, but I'm going to get these out. Um, and I'm so sorry. See if I can find it. Okay. Oh, there they are. I got these the other day. Well, I think I got these poppables in the white cheddar a while back. And I... I was just hungry for, uh, I wanted to try the regular, 
So these were the regular sea salts, you guys. Now, I I don't know. It just, once again, it reminds me of those um, 3D Doritos. But, you guys, they taste. And this is going to date me. Well, only older people are probably going to know this, but back in the day, they had a, a brand called Chipsters. They were kind of a, as long as your finger, and they were just kind of had a little bend in them. Ate them all the time when I had my appendix out when I was um, in seventh grade. My mom would bring them to me because all they wanted me to have was broth. Uh, mom, I'm hungry. So she would bring these Chipsters, and that is what these taste like. Almost two on the verge of tasting like munchos. That's what these are. They're not, they're not munchos, but but yeah. Mm. Duh. There's a tidbit for you. They're just fun to eat. Of course, munchos are less cheaper, and chipsters they don't make anymore. But you know what? If you want to support Lay's. This is it. This is it. All right. Mm. Well, that was a good little snack. I also brought, bought French onion dip. Mm. That I was dipping those in, but I like those without the French onion dip. I would like the Lay's Ruffles with the dip. I don't know, right? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just a weird, weird person. It's like... You guys, are you, are you gonna ever make that tuna fish sandwich? This spoon I cannot use. Why, you ask? Because it is for my yogurt in the morning. I don't know why is that. Oh, that's so weird. I have to have that spoon for that. It, I think it's a it's a yogurt land spoon or whatever. So, okay. So I don't really have a lot in there. So I will probably just dollop. That's a big dollop. But I will probably just do that. I don't need that a lot. But also, they have so many brands. I think I remember Best Foods, I believe, was the original mayo. And that's all you could buy back in the day was Best Foods. And I see now Kraft has it. And they all are on the bandwagon. Wagon, wagon. So let's see what this looks like. I'm sure this has a protective seal. Yeah. Also, right here, I'm going to call out... This brand that's using this, shame on you, two blocks from the ocean, and you're selling this, Bonds. I mean, it's Gatorade. I got the Gatorade Blue Zero, and this can't, who do, you guys, save the ocean. You're, this, it's around turtles. It's around every, everybody. Don't, why? Put it in a box. I cannot believe they have not banned these altogether. I mean, I, I, I saw this and I got another one the other day and they're still in there. Please be aware. Please somebody make Gatorade, Gatorade aware that this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Please, please save our poor fishies out there and everything else that's in that ocean lurking around. I just I wanted to say that because that made me sad. I don't even want to put it in my garbage because if it blows from a dump site. So, and I know people have gone to the beach with them. They'll take their Gatorade and we'll show you like this. Like, you'll see people on the beach. Okay, I got the Gatorade. See right here. And then if they don't dispose of it properly, it blows into the ocean water. So I'm, I'm so sad. I try and buy like the bigger ones. Where they're not in these, so until they put these in a box, but they didn't have them, so I had to do that. So I cut, I'm cutting them. I, sh you know what? This is what you need to do. You just need to cut them, so they don't go around that poor. Uh, I, I can remember the turtle I saw. So at least cut them up, maybe. There, it's all cut up. I feel better, but. Gatorade, really? You should be on top of things. Now this I'm just going to give a little bit. I like this. I don't always like to dip a spoon in everything. 
but it's got to be clean and I get that. Sometimes I will put fresh celery in this, but I, this is the way, you know, my mom made it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my mom made it. Got it. And yeah, this kind of, kind of how I like it. I actually do like it with toast in that. I don't, I'm not toasting my chia butter bread because I love just the taste of the bread. Kind of like if I eat a, a bagel. I don't like it toasted because it takes away the flavor of the bagel to me. Okay. Oh, that was, that was actually just perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> Where's my drink? Where is my drink? But... Uh, After this video today, I gotta work on what I'm doing to open up Trisha's heartbreak tour on the road. I really want to get that done. I'm procrastinating, and then it's like it's gonna be here, and then it's like, but you know me. Hopefully, a lot of people will know me there, and they'll be like, "Oh, that's just Mama got bags." You just, you know. So, but we're gonna have so much fun. We are gonna have fun. I think that's most important. All right, let's get our bread. Let's get our bread. La Brea Bakery. I think they're really. I think they're a really good bakery. Uh, and I and oh, you guys, you know how I took McBain to get a haircut and his shampoo and his nails cut and the mats cut out. He had a couple of them and because his hair just got too long and I, we needed to get him there, but um. Yeah, he was so handsome. And they worked on him for four hours. <laughs> Poor little guy. And they brushed his teeth. I mean, he is sparkling, that boy. He is just sparkling, but he's such a cutie. He was so good. Oh, gosh. And this is so fresh. But anyway, good night, Sad. I love you, Mookie, if you're watching. Uh, he stayed overnight the night before. And it's like, oh, my God, it's so nice to have somebody in my bed, well, number one. But, um, so cute. He, and he changes positions in the middle of the night. And then he sits up by my head in the middle of the night and goes to sleep. I'm like, oh, Cute. Okay, now, you know, I could have run the subway and got this, right? But it probably would have been, what, 10 bucks? And now, out of this, my, this bread, I don't know, it's like three ninety nine, but I can get probably a good six sandwiches out of it, right? Right. So, let me just do, and I could even do an open-faced one, which I might do. I might do that. How's our eggs doing over there? It was like, your eggs are boiling. Can you see? see? They're over here. I remember I'm multitasking. There's my golden grams. So that's, I got the golden grams for my dessert at night if I want something sweet. That would be them. That and those the Reese's. Actually, I had the Reese's ones last night. So after I'm done here with you, I gotta peel my potatoes for my potato salad. Oh, look at you guys. That is great bread. It is really, really good bread. My mom. She used to bake bread all the time. She used to do like um, four loaves at a time, and it was really good. Right when it was out of the oven, and you put butter on it. Oh, gosh. That was probably what started my love affair with bread. Right? Okay, so. Oh, oh actually. You could, see how? That's like a pita pocket. This is see a butter pocket. I'm just going to put that in there. Oh, you know what? Mm, I'm going to dig out, out for this, though, because I like lettuce. Ugh. Those are the sound effects in the background. I like lettuce with my tuna fish sandwich, but I don't have it, but I, I'm like, why? Well, I'm just going to buy this, right? So, oh, this one's kind of wilted, this, as you know, is my favorite. Oh, I guess I should tell you, Radicchio, this is my favorite, and I thought, well, I'm just going to try it with this. So, here we go. You know what, maybe I'm just going to cut it off. I know that's not the right way to do it, you guys, but it's okay. 
I'm just going to keep my pocket going. So I, I put that in there. I broke my pocket. I did it on purpose. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's do it in this one. Okay, this one I didn't break. So this is, we'll put that in there. You guys, I'm just winging this. This is like, I'm not, I don't know. And then we're going to put two dollops. You know what? You can put the whole thing in there if you want. But that's what I do. Because the main thing is not the bread. It is the tuna fish. So, there you guys have it. But this is my lunch. Thank you for joining me for my lunch. Let's try it. I've never had it with the radicchio, so... I feel it's going to be messy, but that's okay. This is, this is me. Let me, I'm trying to do a thumbnail. I'm not like posing. I'm like, hey. Okay. I should be like. I'm just going to do a video of posing with thumbnails. Oh, and I know the big thing now is Cassie, the Cheeto bird thing. The Cheeto chicken I don't know if I can do that. We'll see, but mm, I love me some Cheetos, but I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's see how it tastes. I've never made, I've never made a sandwich with the ciabatta bread. So I'm, I'm anxious. I'm very excited about that. Mmm. I think I got too much of the radicchio and I'm gonna take some of that out. Maybe I'm not a fan of that in my sandwich, but I will keep some of it in. You know why? Because that's all I was kind of tasting. And I want to taste the bread more. Mmm, mmm. Much better. Mm. I got mm, turn this off. Let me just um get these out of here a minute. Or the water. Or, actually, you guys, this is the a best thing that you should have. You should have this. And you know what else you should have is that long scraper when you're cutting things and you can scrape it all up. Pioneer Woman doesn't even have that. It's like, hello. If you're going to be on TV, that's what you need. You should all be chopping things and putting them in with their fingers. I get it, but yeah. You need one of those. Mm. So, but yeah. This is really, really good, I have to say. Mmm. I was going to let you know, I was watching Bobby Flay this morning. And I love, he is the only one that is unique when he tastes something. He doesn't always go, mmm, mmm, it's so sweet, it's so salty. And it's like everybody on the kitchen does, oh my God, it takes it to a whole nother level. But here's Bobby, he's tasting his um, crepe this morning. You know, it's like you're in Paris tasting uh, this crepe on the watching the ocean, and he goes, "It's just delectable." And she really tried the salmon, brings it out. It uh, makes it. I mean, not all this stuff about oh, you know, blah blah blah. He pick, not picking out every ingredient. He takes you to a whole, the place where it came from and everything. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I never really noticed that about him, but I did hear. Mmm, mm, it's so good. That's Valerie a lot. Oh, it's so good. Um, maybe I'll just come on tour and do the impersonations of everybody at Food Hour. But I know I say the same thing. I, I get it, but. 
Mm. So good. I also wanted to let you know when the earthquake happened a couple night uh, last night, a second earthquake in a couple days came. The epicenter was Ridgefield, California, which is a couple hours from here. But I'm laying in my well, actually, I'm sitting in my bed, and I'm um, like, I'm like, oh my god, because I haven't been in a lot of earthquakes, you know. But my whole bed, I, and I got this king bed, you guys with the box spring and a heavy, heavy ASS mattress. I mean, it it takes five people to move my mattress when I move it. And I'm not kidding you. I cannot even move my mattress. Usually I can like go like this, you know, when I want to push it. Uh -uh. Kelly and I can hardly move it. We, we don't. We just, uh, you know, we had to put our whole body into it. But that, the whole thing, it was doing this, right? And I'm like... And it reminded me, and this is, I'm dating myself again, so for my older viewers, putting a quarter in when you're in a motel room to give you that massage on the bed, and it would go, Bleh. it wasn't that fast, but it was like, I'm like, and then a minute one, but I'm by, and I'm like, and then I heard sirens, I'm like, should I get out of bed and go downstairs, because I'm on the second floor, right? When you me, it's like, oh, well, you know, it's not going to be bad, but... It was, it was really pretty good, I gotta say. Um, so, definitely nothing to mess around with. Uh, I know Callie said, where she's at, she's in a three-story uh, house, and she took her animals outside. She goes, the chandeliers were swaying. She goes, I was just, you know, didn't want anything to fall on the animals. So, she grabbed Pixie and the three other dogs that they had, and they went out to the beach <laughs> and waited till it was over. So, it's, you, it is so important, I, I realize now, to get yourself, you know, out of the building. Because um, the worst that could happen to you if you're out in um, on the street or the beach or the sand is that the, the earth opens up and you fall in it. That would be the worst thing. But anyway. Okay, you guys. Well, that's grocery haul and lunch all at once, but I oh, feel so much better. I do. Anyway, um, so excited about these. I never get these, and I love these because, look, they are really, really good. They just taste really good. There is another brand that isn't as good, but it's, um. anyway, that is off the subject of everything. I uh, hope you all are doing well. Enjoy the rest of your 4th of July weekend, and um, I'll see you soon. Do something good for yourself, you guys. I love you. I love you always.